Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my October favourites for you all. I don't want to ramble on too much, but I do want to say that I am going to Sydney IMATS. I am so excited. This is going to be my first year going to IMATS that I can actually go. Normally on the Saturday of IMATS I have an exam and it sucks. Like it literally is the worst ever. Last three years I haven't been able to go because of that. But this year I actually get to go. My last exam is actually the night before IMATS. I don't care, as long as I can go to IMATS, I'm not complaining. I'm so happy, I'm so ridiculously happy. Comment down below if you are coming to IMATS or if you've been and what your experiences have been like. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say and I don't wanna ramble on for too much longer, so let's just jump into the favorites. <laughs> okay, so the first product I wanna to talk to you about is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. So I heard of this through Nikki's tutorials. She's been raving about this for quite some time now due to its glycerin content. Um, so I decided I would give it a try. I really do enjoy it. I do feel like it does make a difference in the longevity of my makeup. It's definitely not a mattifying primer, but it definitely does keep the makeup on. So I really, really enjoy this and I'll definitely be picking up another one when I run out, but I'm sure I won't run out for ages though because this bottle has 100 mil in it, so that's great. For foundation, I've been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. So this one is the newer version of the traditional HD foundation. They have since discontinued that. Can you hear my sheep? <laughs> They've since discontinued the HD foundation, so I did pick up the Ultra HD. I do have a first impressions of this if you would like to check that out. But overall, I do quite like it. It is a good foundation. It's not the same as the HD. I do feel like it's slightly different, but I really, really do like it. And I use the shade Y365, um, if you are curious about that one. And I do have that on my skin today. And I feel like it looks really, really beautiful. <laughs> so because of the shift in the weather, and now that it's a lot warmer, I did pull out my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil bronzing liquid stuff. I have a review of this one as well on my channel, so I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. It gives my skin the most beautiful bronzy warmth to the skin, and the product is just so easy to use. So I absolutely adore this, and if you haven't tried it yet, definitely give it a go. It's not too expensive, but it is really, really gorgeous. I don't think I talked about this product last month, um, but I have been obsessed with the Models Prefer Contour Collection Ultimate Highlighting and Contouring Palette. This is what the outside looks like, and this is what it looks like on the inside. It does have a full-size mirror as well. Um, basically, there's just six shades, three highlight, three contour, really, really beautiful palette. It blows my Astralis one out of the water, and I also have first impressions of this one as well. Um, for any products that I've mentioned here that I have first impressions or review videos on, I'll link them down below. And I'm sorry if you can hear my sheep. A sheep's going to do what a sheep's going to do, right? <laughs> For highlight, I've been using two. The first one is the Makeup Forever Shine On Compact or Compact Shine On in the shade three. Ooh, the sponge just fell out. <laughs> so this is what the product looks like. Um, it is a very, very light highlight. And I do have that on my cheeks today mixed with the next product I'm gonna show you. But this is just a really, really gorgeous highlighting product. It just gives your skin the most beautiful like shine and glow without being too much. So my other favorite highlight this month has definitely been the Becca Champagne Pop. It looks like this. I currently have it on my cheeks as well, mixed with the Makeup Forever highlight. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It just provides the most beautiful highlight to the skin when you want an OTT highlight. And I mean that in a good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. It just makes you look so glowy and just so... Ooh, love it so much. I don't know how to describe it anymore. For my eyes, I've been using the Stila Eyes of the Window Eyeshadow Palette in the Spirit kind. Um, this is what the palette looks like here, and I just really, really enjoy it. I don't know why I've been reaching for this palette so much this month, but I have seriously used this palette almost every single day. It's gorgeous. So for my eyebrows, I've been using this product every single day. This is the Chi Chi Dark Brown Brow Pomade. I have first impressions of this also. I'll link it down below. But this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. You can, it's super, super creamy, so I don't feel like it's gonna dry out anytime soon. But it just applies so beautifully to the eyebrow. I do have it in my eyebrows today. My eyebrows aren't looking the best today, so don't judge. But 
I love this stuff so much. You can get an intense brow, you can have a natural brow, you can have everything in between. I love this product so much. They have a good shade variety. And in my review video, I even include swatches as well. So check that out if you want to see the different shades that they have in the line. But yeah, love that stuff so much. Would highly recommend it. It's so affordable. I think full price, it's only like $15. So it's definitely worth checking out. So for lips, I've been loving the Australis Velour Lips. I've been using these almost every single day. Like I'll use their nude shades on a daily basis, but these are the two standout shades that I've been loving this month. Um, the top one is actually what I have on my lips right now. And this one is called Mel Burn or Melbourne, because with the Velour Lips, they generally take a spin on a city name. But this one's Melbourne and it is just a black color. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I feel like it was just perfect for that Halloween festive season-esque kind of vibe that was happening. I absolutely love it. Lasts a long time. It's really, really good. You do have to build this one ever so slightly, um, or you need to use a dark lip base on the bottom. But either way, this has been gorgeous, and I love it so much. And I've also been loving the shade Barcelona. This shade is just gorgeous. It's just perfect for a night out in the town, just with like a vibrant red pink lip. It's just stunning. I'm obsessed with it. It's so, so gorgeous. If you don't own this, you need to pick it up. I almost forgot about this shade. This shade is called San Fran Disco. This shade is a bit more orange than the Barcelona. You can see that one is definitely a bit more red pink and one is a bit a lot more orange red. So yeah, very similar, but very different at the same time. So the next product I wanna talk about is a hair mask. Normally I don't talk about hair products just cause I don't really know that much about hair in the first place. But if I can wake up and there is a difference in my hair, that means that the product has done something. I picked up the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask Natural Oil thing. Um, from Priceline recently and I've used it in my hair twice now and I'm not even kidding you My hair has improved so much. My hair is not dry anymore It's just got so much more moisture and it's so much softer I'm obsessed with this and I'll definitely continue to use it This is great if you have dry hair or you just want your hair to look a bit more healthy Definitely give this a try. It's not too expensive I think it's around $15 and you don't need to use a lot. I have a lot of hair and I don't use that much I probably use maybe a 50 cent coin amount on my hand all through my hair and it just works great if you have not tried it definitely give it a go because i really think that this sorry about that guys my camera battery just died but anyway talking about this hair mask if you haven't tried it try it seriously you will not be disappointed even if you can maybe get a sample or something this thing is amazing i've noticed a difference in my hair the first time i used it so yeah, definitely give it a try. But yeah, so that's all my favorites for the month, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe at 2,500 subscribers, I might even do a makeup collection video. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you very shortly. Bye.